This is Fred Vaughn and his sister Kate. Of course, you know Mr. Brooke. This is Meg, Amy, Beth, and Joe. So pleased to meet you. Oh, how elegant. <laughs> I'm Amy March. You remember that name. I'm gonna come find you one day in London. Oh, I certainly will. I know something you don't know. Tell me the second. Has Meg perhaps mislaid a glove? Mr. Brooke has it. Yes. How do you know? I saw it. Where? In his pocket. All this time. Yes, isn't it romantic? No, it's horrid. I thought you'd be pleased. At the idea of anybody coming to take Meg away, no thank you. Oh, I'd feel better about it when somebody comes to take you. I... I'd like to see anyone try it. I would like to see someone try it as well. We could never have loved the earth so well if we had had no childhood in it. If it were not the earth where the same flowers come up again every spring that we used to gather with our tiny fingers, what novelty is worth that sweet monotony where everything is known and loved because it is known? How great is that? Mm. I love to listen to you read, Joe, but I just love it better when you read the stories you've written. I don't have any new stories. Why not? Haven't written any? You have a pencil and paper. Sit here and write me something. I, I can't. I don't think I can anymore. Why? It's just... No one even cares to hear my stories anyway. Write something for me. You are a writer. Even before anyone knew or paid you. I'm very sick and you must do what I say. <sighs> do what Marmy taught us to do. Do it for someone else. <laughs> 